There are so many incredible historical stories of women and people of color who have done trailblazing things, and we don't hear those stories enough. That's one of the amazing things about Sundance is how supportive they are of telling their stories, and it seems like they do it first and then industry follows, so that's just a really awesome thing to be a part of. There has definitely been more representation on screen. The reality is it's still not enough. In order for it to change, we need there to be exponential growth, and that's what we're all pushing for. I want to see more female directors. I love the way that a lot of women shoot. I feel that the intimacy is really shown on screen in a very different way. I just love stories about women, and it's probably because I am one, and I would love to see more movies directed by women with women behind the camera, cinematographers, crews filled with them. I had the wonderful experience of working on this film, which was helmed, crewed, and worked, and brought here by queer women, women of color. I think it's urgent to see that because nothing really changes until it happens behind the scenes. Young, diverse writers, directors, people in the crew. Diversity behind the scenes is so important, and it's about believing that your stories are worth sharing. Give me some flawed characters, particularly for ladies. Give me some flawed ladies. Because guess what? We're all flawed. <laughs> With all of these different faces, sizes, and ways of being, it's important to reflect all of that and the things that we watch and the things that we do as filmmakers. I think a trope that is tired is telling women filmmakers uh, continually how lucky they are. If we don't have to feel so fortunate just to be here, we need to own this space and stop feeling that way and start demanding everything that, that we need and deserve to do the work that we're doing.